platform, get a chance to talk behind the scenes, and seamlessly we will be switching into our normal show, which is going to have a little bit of a different intro here, but we'll quickly switch to our studio, which you guys got to see in the beginning of this broadcast. We have a cloud-based live streaming system that allows us to switch between multiple RTMP streaming systems. This is one, the LiveU Solo backpack that we have here, but then also in our studio as well. Yes, we're using Go Easy Life for that, and it is 2 p.m., so I guess we're about to be live, if not already, on Facebook and YouTube. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Stream Geeks Live. We are live every Monday at 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific, and we're coming to you from our new eSports streaming area. Voila! Ta-da! So we are in the midst of building a new online streaming and video content uh, room here. I'm just going to quickly show you guys what it looks like. And there's Michael. Uh, obviously, if you're going to have a young hippie, not hippie, but hippie. young hip, I meant to say hip, <laughs> young tech hip. era, you need to have a small ping pong table. But uh, this is kind of what it looks like here. It's all in the midst of, <gasps> what was that? Oh, good. That's oh, just that your headphones. Mic? But you are stepping on the mic, just letting you know. All right. Don't step on the mic. Sorry. <laughs> uh, this is all in our new studio that we have that we're building here. And we're doing our best to uh, create a space that is going to be helping us uncover the value and of the technology that we use and support in eSports. So with that being said, today's show is all about the road to TwitchCon 2019. And I'm, I'll be out in San Diego next week meeting with uh, the developers of Open Broadcaster Software and a bunch of other great people uh, at TwitchCon. Uh, so we're super excited about that. And without further ado, we want to take you into our studio and look at what we have um, kind of presented for TwitchCon. Let's go. Can't wait to share. All right, cool. Now, while we're heading over here, I wanted to mention, by the way, that... Um, if you go to our Twitch page, there's an interesting thing going on here. We're streaming to Twitch, so twitch.tv slash sgeeks. And if you go there, that's S-G-E-E-K-S, um, twitch.tv slash sgeeks, you will see the ability to control our pan, tilt, and zoom camera. And you can see here, I'm just going to quickly show it. Here it is here on Twitch. And you can give anyone in the world remote camera control of your camera. And right now, just to demonstrate how it, how it works, we are charging 10 bits. And that's an important... ...terry system. But anywho, we're going to go ahead and switch... Your microphone on, Tad? My microphone is on. I think we're ready for the switch. All right, we're going to switch from Twitch. Here we go. Here we go. And here we go. All right. Now we should be on. All right, cool. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. That was fun. I still have my broadcast. You do. <laughs> I'm feeling it, though. It's that was certainly fun. in the spirit of today's show topic. So I can take off my LiveView backpack. By the way, LiveView has some new products coming out for TwitchCon in San Diego. So we're excited to chat with them. But today we're talking all about Twitch and TwitchCon and the business of esports and live streaming. All this and more coming up next? Or are we going to dive yeah, right so in? All of this and more is going to be coming up next. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody. We are on our way to TwitchCon 2019, counting down the days this weekend. TwitchCon is going to paint San Diego purple. We cannot wait, and I want to show this really quickly. Oh, here it is. Uh, we're going to look over the website, and then we're also going to talk a little bit about uh, the things that we're bringing to TwitchCon. We do have a booth, 
and we're going to be going over our brand new webcam from PTZ Optics, our new camera control extension for Twitch, and then, of course, all of the awesome products that we have that gamers are taking advantage of today. All right. You want to start? So, with- first of all, let's show our new webcam. So, let's zoom into this baby. Here it is here. This is a f1.8 lens webcam and we really wanted to create a camera that has the ability to really produce high quality imagery in up to 1080p at 30 frames a second for streaming Um, what makes this webcam special is its on-screen display menu and what that does is it allows you to it's one of the first webcams that i know of that has full exposure white balance contrast, luminance, uh, digital noise cancellation, all those options are built into this webcam. So you get a lot of production value and production quality options that you would find in a normal production camera, streaming camera uh, in Mm -hmm. in the less than $100 webcam. It'll be very familiar to those of you who are uh, experience with PTZ Optics, PTZ cameras, that OSD menu is very similar. And it's really quite amazing that you're able to have near the same control functionality there. Now with our PTZ camera line, which is what we're really known for at PTZ Optics, these cameras can now be controlled directly through Twitch. And I want to show that on the extension here really quickly. We showed it for a second there. Uh, we've done a lot to this, this extension because it has become so popular. Um, So this extension uh, is an extension, I should step back and and say what it is. Extensions are overlays on top of a live stream on Twitch that provide additional value, additional interactivity with your audience. And when we learned about Twitch extensions, we said, hey, why don't we create an extension that gives the audience camera control? And so that's what we've done. You guys can go ahead and try it if you'd like. It costs 10 bits, which I believe is 10 cents. which is kind of funny at 10 cent being See, either 10 big, cents uh, or 10 dollars so no. 10, i think it's 100 bits per dollar or something like that something like that it's close so, to that i don't think it'll break the bank um and we can set it up to be free obviously um but we're, we're we're testing the the bit functionality here so you have the ability to pan tilt and zoom a camera directly through twitch so what does that mean for twitch and twitch users um you can give your audience remote camera control in your studio. So if you're done gaming and you want to just kind of take a break and relax and let the audience kind of look around your space, they can do that. Um, A lot of gamers have like a picture in picture of themselves Mm -hmm. and the game that they're playing. Uh, You could have a picture in picture of the studio itself. And then probably most important is for those artists out there and those oh, people who are doing absolutely. like tabletop games mm-hmm. and things where, where the, the whole picture is not being taken up by the gameplay, um, but more interactive crafting and making of uh, or creating of something. The audience can zoom in or locate a, an area of interest. Yeah. So I think that's going to be really big for these creators. So we're here to show that off, not just today, but also at TwitchCon. So if we can show the, uh, the screen here just a little closer i want to show the um the options here you can see that there's one button to join and we have it set up in q mode there's also a code mode and code mode allows you to the ability to just share a secret code and there's obviously also a free mode there's also a mode by the way that just gives subscribers control so you can just give your subscribers control of the camera which is nice there's a little bit of latency. It takes about a second or two uh, to get back from the stream coming from Twitch all the way back to the server. And uh, that's what it looks like. So it's a pr- I think that a lot of gamers and uh, folks out there are going to be interested in this app. Question coming from Alfredo on Facebook. Thanks for watching, Alfredo. Does it give remote live start control? Um, that would... uh, you can't start the stream. The stream does well, have to You would be already started. be live, of course. Yeah. So it's just it's just camera control. It's it's somewhat basic. It does pan, tilt, zoom, zoom in, zoom out, and then four presets. You can see these four buttons at the bottom, and these four buttons here uh, can have any label that you want on them. So if I click one of those, it's going to go to preset two. That's defined on that camera, um, and you'll see. Oh. Is it only for Twitch? This is only for Twitch. That's It'd be cool a good if YouTube point. could do that or Facebook. Um, 
YouTube and Facebook don't seem to have extensions yet. Right. Um, but Mixer does. And so we're going to TwitchCon. We're going to show this off at TwitchCon. And then we're going to see what people think about it. Um, and then possibly develop for Mixer as well. So we're thinking about it. Mixer is a really cool platform uh, that does have this type of capabilities. So it will be interesting to see. Uh, getting the bits and the subscriber information in there was really important. Mm -hmm. So we've got all that done. And so that's how it works. So you guys can give it a try at PTZ, or sorry, twitch.tv slash That's right. If you want to give it a try. All right. So uh, next is painting the town purple. I want to show everybody kind of what TwitchCon's all about and why we're going to be there. Um, oh, I almost forgot, by the way, though. We have our own summit that I want to briefly mention, uh, streamgeeks.us slash summit. The prices are going to go up soon, but right now it's only $195 to go to the Stream Geek Summit in New York City. So if you're interested in learning about that, uh, we have a quick video we'll play to show you guys about this. Have you ever wanted to learn more about the live streaming industry? Well, we just signed a contract to host an entire day of education on live streaming right here in New York City. The first annual Stream Geek Summit will be held here at the Dream Downtown Hotel. We have experts from all over the industry that are going to join us here to teach workshops for a full day of education, help simplify the tech, and provide action plans that can be applied to almost any industry. That's right, and you can join us in person or virtually. You know that virtual ticket experience we're going to produce is going to be amazing. So learn more at streamgeeks.us slash summit. All right. So if you can make it to the Stream Geek Summit, it's going to be so much fun. We're going to be live streaming the entire main stage experience for free online and you can get premium virtual tickets as well uh, for as low as $25 each. You should see the link in the YouTube description or the Facebook um, copy if you're interested in grabbing that after today's show. We're going to have represents, representatives from LinkedIn, Microsoft, and many more. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Don't forget to sign up for the free live stream. And then if you'd like, uh, there's a lot of premium options. Plus the in-person experience, you get to meet us see all the streaming gear we're using, meet a bunch of other professionals in the industry, and there's going to be a happy hour and networking event led by some really fun influencers as well. So. We'd love to see you there. All right. That'll be in New York City November 8th, but September 27, 8, and 29, we have TwitchCon. And TwitchCon is really cool. I wanted to spend a little bit of time on uh, these different areas because it really shows you where esports is headed, in my opinion, and uh, the first one I want to show here is the Artist Alley. And the Artist Alley is um, a really cool space. It shows that Twitch is really thinking about breaking out behind or breaking out from just esports, right? Mm -hmm. Continuing to show that they strive in other areas. This is going to be for the artists, creators, creating live art on Twitch. So this is going to be really exciting. I can't wait to check it out. Look at how many artists there are. There's just as many artists as there are exhibitors at the show. And there's all these artists and a lot of them stream on Twitch themselves. They stream the creation of their art. Really interesting. And it's super interesting. It shows that, you know, these are the artists that I'm thinking about might be interested in stream allowing the, uh, their audience to kind of look around their, their cool studios that right. they have. Now, and Charity Plaza the is another one that I wanted to mention. And Twitch is doing so much for charity. We really think it's cool. Um, they raised, I think, $200,000 for charities in 2018, I think it was, last year's ch uh, charity Declathon. A lot of people went together. In fact, we were supporting some charity, uh, some folks who were streaming for charity for St. Jude's in Philadelphia here. I remember that, helping them get some streaming gear for that. Mm -hmm. Well, with our ability to create custom extensions, we're seeing that they're offering some charity-based extensions to be used for nonprofits platforms. So broadcasters on the Twitch platform are well aware that you can install these extensions on there, on your channel, and then it allows people to easily donate on, like directly through your channel page. I think it's genius. 
Twitch is really on to something there. Whoever came up with that idea deserves yeah. a raise. <laughs> um, cosplay, obviously, is something Super that fun. is big deal for you know the Twitch uh, industry. Look at that. Dressing up like your favorite game character or, wow. or alter ego. So it looks like there's a $15,000 prize. All these cool They're uh, extravagant. are going to come out. I can't wait to see it. It's going to be super fun. And uh, that's just something that you have to expect with these esports uh, areas. Now, there's the creator camp. Obviously, the creators on the platform, like all of these social media uh, sites like Facebook, YouTube, especially YouTube and Twitch, um, they are built by creators. You know, the creators are creating all the content on this platform. And then there's also a developer camp. I might stop by there because we developed our own extension. I'd love to see cool. what others are working on. Yeah. Um, and that's in the developer camp. Then there's the exhibition floor. And they don't have a that's floor we'll map. Be. But this is where you'll find us along with tons of other companies, including TikTok um, and some others. And I just wanted to share this with you guys. There's so many great um people that are going to be here a lot of them in the live streaming and gaming industry so there's a lot there's almost 100 but we'll be there and we're excited to be showing off what we're doing and uh you know why it's important if you're going to be at the show stream geeks slash ptz optics will be represented at c7 it's easy to remember c7 now the glitch theater is going to be where all the main shows and um kind of like uh kind of opening ceremonies, uh, music, cosplay contest. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so cool. And then it looks like, uh, I think that's where the music is too. Oh, there's a party Saturday night. That's what it is. Uh, there's a hackathon. Are you going to make the party? I don't know. I think I'll probably just catch up on my sleep at that point. Uh, there's a streamer zone, so you can stream there. So this to me. You're going to have to make it there. You have Definitely to share with us what's going zone. on. So this Friday at 2 p.m., we will be streaming live from TwitchCon to kind of show the world what it is. And maybe even Thursday. Yeah. If I get you, in You could maybe start from a pod. That's what it looks like they have. with, But you'll be backpacking. So you might not need to be sitting in front of a computer. But yeah. It'd be uh, cool to watch, to see. I, it's going to be really cool. And, I, and I'm guessing Thursday, the day before the show opens, I may be able to stream some behind the scenes looks. Hopefully no one will get upset, but I'll try. Um, but Friday, we're definitely going to stream from the show floor, show everybody what's going on. And to me, this is about learning about Twitch, learning about this new world that has just absolutely exploded over the past five years. You know, if, if you're just doing your normal job and not thinking about how esports is going to affect your business, you know, that's kind of, you know, a mistake, I think. I think it's going to be really, really huge. And so I find myself going as an exploratory um, time. And then obviously we'll bring all that information back. And the next Monday, assuming that it's all ready, we're going to come back and tell you guys all about it. So that's it for today. Uh, we're not going to do a podcast because uh, it's not all set up to, for, for that. Usually we do a podcast at this time, uh, but we're tweaking some of our gear. So that actually wraps it up for today. Yeah, join us for the live stream on Friday uh, with PTZ Optics to check out our new webcam from the show floor, the Twitch extension, our OBS apps, and more. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Thanks.